Please feel I'm a little shy because he had to get shaved. Please like the video to help Leo feel less insecure about his new haircut. Hi, welcome back to Hope Scope and welcome to this chaos. But before you dislike the video, most of this actually isn't for me, it's for you. I personally have been really loving watching like spring hauls from people. I think there's something about it like simulates that personal human contact that I feel like we've all been lacking the last couple of months. So let me show you what I got. I think these two go together. Okay, if you know that you're somebody that I secret shopped for, when you hear your name, just cover your eyes for a minute if you don't want to ruin the surprise of what I got you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a 24 hour shopping challenge video about a month ago. I am gonna open these because I want to like repackage them real cute and stuff. I got these for Katie. I got her joggers and I just couldn't decide if I wanted to get her something like fun and colorful to work out in or something a little bit more neutral. So I got her both. <laughs> I picked out these bounce back joggers from Athletic. They feel so nice. So these are gonna be like a good cozy at home jogger for her. And then some of my personal favorites, a buff bunny stripe jogger in the cider color. These are made from like a super stretchy, comfy fabric. Okay, here's one that I got myself. It's from The Real Real. I've never shopped there before, but it's like a website that has like higher end used stuff. Wow, comes in this nice little bag. Tyler's convinced that I won't actually wear this for some reason. I disagree because I love t-shirts, especially cute oversized ones. I'm gonna need to wash this real quick before I wear it though. I can't tell what it smells like. I think just a thrift store, but it just smells really strong. But I thought this was really cute. It has the little velvet roses on the pocket and then the bigger velvet roses on the back. The smell of this is making me very uncomfortable, but I really like this t-shirt. Oh, this is for Tyler. I'm gonna save that. I was swimsuit. I was swimsuit shopping for my sister and I did pick myself up a little something as well. I have seen a lot of people hating on Victoria's Secret's 2020 swim, but they do have some gems. I don't know how to say the name of this brand. Maj? Maji? They have super cute swimwear and activewear though. I don't even think this is meant to be a true swim top. This is, it's like a go into the beach top. I got some Frankie's bikinis. That has been all over my Instagram. I think I've followed them for like years, but I just am now trying it. I got this little bottom. I really like fabric like this. It's like a, a little bit thicker ribbed material and then just a simple triangle bikini. I think my thought was I was gonna wear it under this. Did I put this top on backwards? Not entirely sure. Like something seems off about it. Let's flip it. Maybe it's meant to go both ways. We don't really know. Ah, I get better the other way. Also this Frankie's bikini top is tiny. Swimsuits just went like microscopic on us in 2020. Uh, the bottoms are like a cheeky cut. A little bit on the tighter side. I think I went with a medium in the bottoms, small in the tops for both brands. Ready for the beach. Quality of their stuff is actually a lot better than I was expecting. Okay, and for my sister, I also got her some Maj, Maji stuff. Some Something that's cool about them is most of their stuff is reversible. So I figured if she didn't like one side of the swimsuit, she'd at least probably like the other. Here's the little top and then the back like ties up with the little tassels and the bottoms and then the cute others print on the side. This fun tropical-y one. This is actually for another video. This was the shopping that I did it for yet, but, and I blacked out a little bit maybe. I don't really know what I did. I got the idea to do that 24 hour shopping challenge idea from Nikki and Gabby. And I noticed in their video, they were like, try this challenge and tag us. Notice I didn't challenge you guys to do this challenge because I fully recognize that staying up all night isn't healthy. And I've done it a little bit more than I ever intended to do in my adult life during this quarantine. And the results of the 4 a.m. shopping, well, we've got this dress from Lulu's. I haven't done a lot of shopping at Lulu's in my life. I see people getting really cute things from there all the time. I'm a little nervous about this one. I intentionally got the wrong size because it's all they had. <laughs> it's like this white maxi, I thought it looked like the kind of dress you'd wear on vacation to like Greece. I don't know, it could be frumpy and weird. It could be really pretty. Here we go, oh no. I don't wanna rip it, oh, I'm stuck. Round two. 
It's really, really pretty. Um, oh, look at the bottom. Hang on. It has a cute little slit. And the fabric is phenomenal. But is it too big? I think it's okay. I think I kind of like the vibe. Normally, I always go for like totally skin tight dresses. So it's kind of nice to have just like a looser, more casual fit, you know? I feel like I need to go frolic through a field of flowers in this dress. In case that one was a complete fail, I also got myself a dress from Revolve. The brand of this one is Rail. This one is the correct size. It's this really cute. I just thought it would be a fun Light and airy summer dress has little ruffles at the bottom buttons up the front I was afraid the other one was gonna be too frumpy, but I kind of feel like this one is dang That's so weird. I feel like it was not this on the model in the pictures <laughs> Especially because it was like a $200 dress <laughs> like it was 20 bucks from forever 21. That's one thing but like yeah not what I was hoping for. Listen, I don't buy very many shoes for myself that are not sneakers, but let me tell you, these heels that I'm about to show you are the best thing that has ever been invented. Okay, so first glance, they're just a cute, classic little stiletto heel, but the heel comes off. It's a convertible shoe. The fact that this hasn't existed until now blows my mind. This brand is called Passion, and it's not spelled how you think it would. It's actually spelled like, fashion but with a P. The heel literally just twists off and then it comes with this little piece that you just snap onto the heel. Boom. Okay, here they are as a heel. Wow, so cute. And as a flat. So I got the nude ones and then these cute black ones that like lace up. Like tell me this isn't the perfect Vegas shoe. I posted these on my Instagram story and a couple people asked, do they truly go flat? They almost look like they don't, but they do. And I think it's actually kind of cool that they have this like springy arch support here still, which for someone like me, whose arches are complete trash, <laughs> is actually so nice. They have tons of cute options though vegan options oh another cool thing is the heels are actually interchangeable between shoes so you also don't have to like dig around in your purse and like find the left heel to go with the left shoe and the right to the right 100% when I travel from now on this is the only pair of shoes going in my bag oh and then in my stories I did say let me try to convince them to get you guys a discount and they messaged me with a code just for you guys you can use code hope 25 for 25 percent off of these shoes which is phenomenal i don't know what this is Ooh. oh wait yes i do these are the leggings that i picked for Jeanette. naturally when i'm thinking to myself i'm gonna treat somebody to a real nice pair of leggings the beyond yoga space dyes are some of the first ones that come to mind so I got her just in the black because you can't go wrong with black. The out of pocket midi. Literally any of the Beyond Yoga space dye leggings though. I just, they're incredible. Okay, so for Giselle, I got her some socks. <laughs> and then I thought that was kind of lame to just buy someone just socks. So I also got her a hoodie. If you've been watching my channel, you can probably guess where both are from. The socks are indeed from Lululemon. They're tab socks give me life they're incredible tyler actually picked these and then my most worn hoodies are definitely from alphalete kind of like a nice neutral color mom i'm sorry this is uh the other part of your mother's day gift adidas ultra boosts are pretty much some of my favorite sneakers of all time and these ones were really just speaking to me and saying that i needed to buy them for my mom <laughs> they're this super cute pink and white and rose gold fun though huh with like the little ombre okay this next thing i'd um i uh decided to treat myself a little bit i had a ton of poshmark credit so i actually got an incredible deal on this so someone at the post office trying to jack my item. Experts have confirmed the authenticity. This is not a Poshmark ad. I am genuinely very impressed that they do this though. If you buy anything that's like a designer item, they have it sent to them first so that they can make sure it's legit before sending it to you. Oh my gosh, cute. Some of the little off-white paperclip bags. The hot pink is so fun. And then the strap is made out of the same material they make their like belts out of with the logo, magnetic closure. And then the inside has this little like zip open coin purse, which is cool. It's smaller than I thought it would be, but I'm honestly quite happy about this purchase. Okay, we got another pair of sneakers. These ones are for Emma. I was honestly surprised with everything going on, how fast all this stuff ships. But this one definitely took a little while. I got them from Dick's Sporting Goods and it took like 
two weeks before they even shipped. She said that she liked the color blue, but I wanted to get her something very wearable, you know? So I wanted the black and white Nikes, but they have the fun blue heel and they're the Dippin' Dots one. I always forget what they're actually called. I don't know, it's supposed to be this fancy technology where the little beads like absorb the shock. <laughs> they're very lightweight. Okay, these next leggings I got for M. This is like a slightly lesser known brand, I feel like, but I love all their stuff. NUX. Oh, I feel bad. I don't want to unwrap them. Oh my gosh. I hope she likes these. I went a little bit more out there. I love their seamless leggings. I'm so picky about my seamless leggings. NUX has yet to fail me though. Wow, it's like I never even broke it open. Last but not least, I had to buy myself a tracksuit. I was on ASOS. Oh, and I got myself this bonus item. The 2XS? Who did she think she was that night? Oh, it might fail fit. Look, it's weird, but it just felt very me, you know? <laughs> we'll decide uh, once it's on. Wait, okay, so somehow it fits. I kind of like it, but what is this? Why is this so high cut on the side? It's like active wear, but make it formal. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do about that situation. Well, it is an extra, extra small, so maybe on a petite person, it would hit more like that. Okay, now for the actual tracksuit. Because I, I wanted to get that, but I didn't know if it counted as a tracksuit. It's the deconstructed tracksuit. So it has like the three stripes on it in this kind of like washed, patchy, stitched together, kind of cool. So this jacket's cool. I don't really know if it's my style. It's a little too like soccer for me. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It's a very like athletic looking thing. What in the, are these the pants go with? It. Oh, I hate these. <laughs> they're almost like a dress pant material. Everything about them is not working. <laughs> I think they're too big first of all. There's nothing flattering about this. I think it's a no on this set. <laughs> if you want to keep hanging out with us and watch some more videos, Leo and I picked out a couple for you here. And make sure to tap on my little face over here to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Say bye, YouTube.